Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love. So this video or this review has been going around on YouTube. So I want to put my little two cents in as well, you guys. Um, I love a good rich fragrance. I love a good opulent fragrance. I love a good affluent smelling fragrance. Just, you know, fragrances that make you feel wealthy, you know, that make you just smell rich and like you very unique and like no other. Um, not really designer, but just completely different, very luxurious, you know, all of that good stuff stuff. So, you know, just because maybe you don't have it, you could still smell like it, okay? And you don't have to pay the huge price tag to smell like something beautiful and rich and wealthy. You know, a walking bag of money, you guys. So anyway, we're going to talk about um, about 15 fragrances today. We'll go through those really fast. Uh, we won't do all the notes, but some of them. And uh, leave me down in the comments your scent of the day. We'll talk about my scent of the day on top of some beautiful, rich, fragrances that you might want to wear to certain events or, you know, to somewhere where there's like a lot of influence or, you know, maybe to a work event or somewhere where you have to look very beautiful, you know, super professional, but luxurious at the same time you are. Uh, you know, maybe you're going to the White House or maybe you're going to go see the king instead of the queen now, you guys. All right. So if you want to find out about these fragrances, that's going to make you smell wealthy. You know, we got to smell it to think it right. Or just, you know, put it out, put it out into the universe, you guys. Um, so anyway, please keep watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down, like, comment, subscribe, follow me over on Instagram, all of that good stuff. And y'all, let's get to it. So the very first one we're going to start with today um, literally needs no introduction because it's been all over. Some people say it's basic and we're talking about this fragrance because it's not only rich smelling, uh, everybody had to get their hands on it. It was like not attainable to most, but today there's thousands of dupes, you know, with the scent of this fragrance of saffron, ambergris bitter almond, all of the goodness, you know, freshness, uh, burnt, uh, burnt sugar or burnt cotton candy. Um, they have so many designer dupes, so many Middle Eastern dupes for this fragrance. And we are going to talk about my scent of the day, which is Baccarat Rouge 540, you guys. Some people consider this basic. I don't consider this basic because this is the first scent or smell that came out that smelled like no other. It was very affluent, very rich, you know, a uh, very opulent smelling and you only smelt this fragrance in a lot of high-end areas uh, initially when it first came out because this bottle's no joke you guys it's about six hundred dollars uh, retail price um, and also after that they came out with a version uh, which is just as opulent smelling and this is the x-trade and this is baccarat rouge 540 the x-trade this one's a little more tart not as sweet um a little dry i wouldn't say tart you get more of that bitter almond in here but you still get an amazing overloading dose of natural fresh non-synthetic saffron which i absolutely love in both of these fragrances so actually this is my scent of the day so we're going to get these out of the way because when you think of rich smelling scents or wealthy, you know, wanting to smell wealthy or, you know, very affluent people in the community, then you think of people smelling like Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, then today you may think of the pole, you may think of uh, anything, a club, like any of that. But either way, they're still smelling rich, you guys. Um, all right. This is the EDP and this is the X-ray. Also today, um, I didn't wear the x-ray today, but I did wear the EDP. Um, I layered it. Go follow um, this woman or this company, woman-owned company, black-owned company on Instagram. Um, and the fragrance company is called the Fragrance Vault XO. So what inspired me to do this video, um, actually this video has been in the back of my subconscious for a while uh, because I always have this one fragrance that I absolutely love and I want to talk about all the time. But um, it's not as, um, you know, attainable as most fragrances are and they're always sold out everywhere and they they were back then as well uh but what had me what inspired me to do this video 
uh, was Smell Like Money. And this is by the Fragrance Vault XO. This gives the scent of Baccarat Rouge 540 with a little bit more of that burnt sugar, burnt cotton candy smell. And this is a bath oil. They also have a, um, a body oil, like a perfume, like a rollerball perf perfume. They have a spray and they also have a shea, a very rich, thick shea butter that is absolutely amazing for your skin. I do love her shea butters. Um, I have one that's called, um, I forgot the name of it, but I will list everything down below you guys. Uh, but it smells like Abracadabra's, uh, Kriegler's Abracadabra or Tom Ford's Metalique. And that one is my favorite one. But the bath oil, you all, I actually put this on while I was in the bathtub when I finished washing up, you know, a nice hot bubble bath. Um, and then when I got out of the bath, because this oil, the water did not penetrate this oil through my skin. I got out the bath, my skin felt super soft. After I washed up, I just rubbed this um, oil on top of my skin. And then when I got out, I added a little bit more so I didn't have to apply lotion, you all. Anyway, this is the bath oil. It smells like the Baccarat Rouge 540 with a little bit more of that uh, burnt sugar, but you need to get your nose on it. It's stunning and I love it, you guys. And it's so amazing for your skin. No need to apply additional lotion, all right? So this is what inspired this video as well today. So, um, and it's called Smell Like Money, you guys. So, um, all right, let's get down to it. Uh, let's talk about one fragrance that we all know and love. Um, and this one, you won't see many people or smell many people out in the world because this is a very particular fa fragrance. Um, this is by my favorite niche fragrance house and this is the house of Zerjoff. Accento Overdose with the aldehydes, the fruitiness, um, the greenness, that hint of a uh, eucalyptus in here. Y'all, this smells very rich, very wealthy. Um, it is not giving you auntie vibes, but it is giving you maybe like a young auntie vibes, you know, uh, but it's giving, I'm just living, you know, I'm out here wanting to smell good. And you know, I got some coins. Okay. So anyway, this is Accento Overdose. You get that fruitiness, you know, that really rich fruitiness and this fragrance, the performance on this fragrance, you all is absolutely amazing. So no need to apply, but it's very juicy. It's fruity. It's green. It's slightly earthy. Uh, but if you want to smell original, then you need to definitely try Accento Overdose. Um, and if you love a very, like very sweet, fruity smelling fragrance with a little bit of greenness, you're going to love this fragrance. Accento Overdose. Get your nose on it, you guys. Um, the next one, let me go in order so I don't forget anything. Let's talk about one that actually inspired the video as well. This was my very first, was it my very first? Uh, fragrance by Bond Number no. Nine, and this is Ruby Dubai. This this fragrance was actually inspired by Wit Babe. She was one of the very first. Her and Eva Monroe, um, the real Eva Monroe and Wit Babe. I watched their fragrance reviews years ago. You know, they were the only people that I really watched years ago, and they inspired a lot of uh, fragrances. Eva Monroe inspired One Umbrella for Two, and Wit Babe inspired Ruby Dubai's. Um, bond number nine is Ruby Dubai. I love the note of saffron. In here, you have saffron, you have some geranium, you have some civet in here, but you don't get that. You have a beautiful note of cypria oil in here. You have, um, let's see, you have some bergamot, and of course you have some rose, and it's a very ambery uh, scented fragrance. But this is probably the richest, most opulent fragrance I have in my collection. It smells like a bag of money, you guys. Um, it definitely gives maturity. Um, this is not for the young, the playful, you know, the I want to hang out in the streets. This is for uh, take me out to a nice dinner. Um, let's let's fly to Dubai. You know, let's fly to Paris. Let's fly to London. Let's fly to the south of France. That is what this fragrance is giving me, you all. Um, so yeah, this is not for the faint at heart, you know, because of the saffron, the heavy dose of saffron and the geranium in here and that myrrh with a little bit of amber, you all. 
It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. Um, back then, about four years ago, this fragrance was definitely hard to find. Uh, I remember purchasing this over in Harrods. Y'all gonna get sick of my Harrods stories, but I purchased some really nice fragrances over in Harrods. Uh, but yeah, I went there the first day, they didn't have it. The second day, I gave the lady my number. She had got a couple in for the day. I went back the next day and I picked up my Ruby Dubai, but definitely inspired by the lovely, uh, your baby girl wit over here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. I love wit babe. She's absolutely amazing. And I love, she loves Clyde Christian, you know, which is another rich smelling fragrance house. Um, and I, I love a couple of Clyde Christian fragrances, but, uh, not enough to purchase one as of yet, you know? Um, so they're very rich and dense and heavy, you guys. Um, so anyway, Ruby Dubai by Bond number nine, get your nose on it. But if you like a good a good saffron, you're gonna love that. A saffron geranium, an ambery saffron geranium, you're gonna love that fragrance. All right, so the next one we're gonna talk about is one that I've had for some years now, and I haven't worn it for years until three weeks ago, uh, or two weeks ago, which was like, um, not Mother's Day, which was Easter Sunday, not Mother's Day, you guys. Um, this is Isabella by Royal Crown. I was actually gonna declutter this fragrance. Um, and initially when I purchased this fragrance, I knew that I did like it because I went through a 10 ml sample. So I ended up buying the bottle. I don't know why I haven't reached for it. Um, the bottle's gorgeous. It's very attractive. It's very rich looking. It has a crown on it. You know, uh, this is by the house of Royal Crown. So I decided to wear this fragrance for, I was picking out pretty bottles for Easter Sunday. Um, so in this fragrance, you know, initially when I smelled it, it smelled a little smoky as if it had tobacco inside. And I think about two, three years ago, I really wasn't into tobacco as much as I am today. But today I am loving a sweet or powdery or creamy tobacco fragrance, you all. You all, even a fresh one as well with fruits and all that stuff. Um, so... In here, it's gorgeous. And um, I'm so glad that I didn't declutter declutter this fragrance because it smells absolutely delicious. Um, it, it's, it's a very rich, dense, thick and heavy fragrance, uh, but airy at the same time because of that beautiful orange blossom note, you guys. So in Isabella, you have your tuberose, uh, you have your rum, vanilla, you have some rose, um, and you have some ambergris as well. It's probably the ambergris that's making it smell a little fresh and airy. Uh, but y'all, get your nose on it. You really smell a slight pink rose, but more of a powdery. It's a powdery fragrance, uh, not a vintage powdery fragrance, but it's definitely it's definitely giving you those old, mon old money vibes, you guys. Uh, but it's powdery orange blossom, a little bit of rose. You get that creamy, powdery, non-bubblegummy tuberose. That's absolutely amazing. I am in love with this fragrance all over over again and by the way let's talk about another crown that I am another royal crown that I'm also in love with um, that belongs in this category so um, the other royal crown that we will be discussing is one that I knew that I had to have a bottle of um, I do really like Sultan you know um, but that is more of a vanilla based uh, you know woody resinous rich uh, fragrance but I also love Alchemia, and where are the words, y'all? So Alchemia, stunning, stunning, rich, very lovely bottles. You know, they look like they belong in a castle. Um, this fragrance is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this smells like a Middle Eastern princess. You know, her daddy has all the riches in the world. Um, you get that oud in here. It's a very fresh oud. But what shines in this fragrance is a really good rose. You get a type rose in here, almost like a little bit of a tart pink rose. Um, you get that peach blossom in here that adds the fruitiness to this fragrance, y'all. This fragrance is absolutely stunning and I love it. I only own three royal crowns there are a couple of more um i've sampled about five or six of them but there are a couple of more that i really want to get my nose on that came out last year uh but we'll see about that i will definitely not be blind buying them i will be getting samples and uh we can go through the entire house again oh ambrosia i do love ambrosia i have a 10 ml sample of ambrosia as well oh the ambrosia is good as well y'all um get your nose on that one so um they have a lot of um 
the Royal Crown Fragrances at Max Aroma. And when you can catch them for 20 or 30% off, you can purchase the samples or the, now they're five mLs. They're no longer eight or 10 mLs. Um, you can purchase them for uh, 30 or 20% off, you guys, which is an amazing deal. So yeah, this is a very juicy, delicious pink rose with a peach blossom and a very light, airy oud. This, is in my top 10 rose fragrances for life. I love this rose fragrance. It's juicy, it's delicious, it smells like wealth, it smells rich, um, it's giving you like princess, you know, um, it's gorgeous and I absolutely love it. Alchemia, get your nose on it. So the next one we're gonna talk about is one that I recently obtained, you guys, and yes, even though I bought a dupe of it from Dapper Fragrance, you know, I had a 8 ml sample that I used and I've been like literally babysitting a the rest of a 5 ml sample that I had that somebody sent me. Um, I was able to get a really good connect on this fragrance. Initially, I think this fragrance was selling for over the price, uh, but I got it for regular price. Uh, with the taxes and all that, and it ended up being the same. But anyway, it's a beautiful vanilla. It's a sought after fragrance, and it's no other than the rich, richest vanilla, one of the most richest vanillas on the planet with suede and a lot of other beautiful notes. Black pepper, pink pepper, deliciousness. This is baby cat, and yes. <laughs> Finally got me a bottle of Baby Cat. This has been in and out of my cart at Selfridges. I missed out on it. You know, the last one I put it in my cart and then I went back two hours later and it was gone as well. I tried to like go to the purchase option towards the end and then it said this fragrance is no longer obtainable, whatever it said. And I was like, just that fast? Oh my goodness. So anyway, final, finally got me a bottle of Baby Cat thanks to Hudson's over on Instagram. Um, um, you know, I appreciate you, brother, okay? So anyway, this is such a stunning vanilla. Yes, you get that same dapper nuance, but this one's a little more sweeter, you know? It's, oh, you guys, this is good. This is probably, um, I've sampled a ton of YSL fragrances, and I've never really wanted to. Atlas Garden, I do absolutely love. Uh, blouse Eye, I really, really like that fragrance as well. And there was also another one, but I've never been like, oh, I need to purchase that one. Uh, but this one, I had to have it. It's intoxicating. It's alluring. It's sexy. This smells like an Arabian prince or princess, you all. Um, this smells like put me on a magic carpet ride, okay? Um, this is so, so good. In Baby Cat, you have your black pepper, pink pepper. You have the note of saffron, but I just get a really rich, warm spiciness. I don't get that. I don't get that scent of, you know, um, that really prominent saffron, but I know it's in there, you guys. Um, you have suede, bourbon vanilla in here. You have cedar, olibanum. It smells like it's a little cardamomish in a way, but no, I think it's just the spicy pink pepper, black pepper, the olibanum, the richness of the olibanum, the bourbon vanilla, the suede, the silkiness, the warm suede vanilla scent in here. It's absolutely stunning. I'm so glad I got the 125 ml bottle of this. Um, can you imagine if they came out with an extract of this fragrance? It would be like stunning and I'm hoping that they would come out with an extract of this fragrance and maybe adding cardamom, okay? But y'all, Baby Cat is intoxicating and it smells very rich. You know, it smells like you own landmines, okay? Um, yeah, your daddy, your grandpa, somebody own landmines, okay, in your family and this is what it's giving. Um, it's beautiful, Baby Cat by YSL. Oops, sorry, you guys. All right, so the next one we're going to talk about is a very, this one smells like a princess or a queen as well, you know, and this is Madurai by Mimo Paris. This is very, this is very silky. It's very luxurious. Um, it's just a really beautiful fragrance. It smells like a princess bride, you know, 
It smells like a bride that's about to become the queen, you know? Mm, this is really good. There's jasmine on jasmine on jasmine in this fragrance. Indian jasmine. Um, there's a beautiful note of peach in here. I think there's a beautiful note of suede in here as well. Um, no, there's, oh, there is suede. There's marigold, peach. There's turmeric in this fragrance. There's suede. Y'all, this is such a beautiful, creamy, peachy jazz, non heady jasmine. Um, this is a very luxurious jasmine, you all. A jasmine that I can absolutely tolerate. I love the note of jasmine. I actually do like some heady jasmine fragrances as well, but this one smells like the most luxurious jasmine scent, jasmine scent that you'll have in your collection, you all. With that fruitiness from the peach as well, it's creamy, you all. You get a slight suede from this fragrance as well. Get your nose on it. This is Madurai by the House of Mimo Paris. Madurai. You know, that's that's this fragrance. When you when you have money, you speak with an accent. Madurai. <laughs> Anyway, a lot of people tell me that I have an accent when I go to other countries, but I'm like, oh, I don't have an accent. You have an accent. And they can literally tell where I'm from. You know, um, they were like, oh, you're from the U.S. And I'm like, yeah, I am from the U.S. And I'm like, uh, but what part of the U.S.? They're like, uh, California. I'm like, what do you mean? How do you just know that I'm from California and not from like Texas or Miami? New York really has a very prominent um, accent. So I knew not from New York, but why not? like Oklahoma, you know, places like Seattle. They're like, because you're always saying like, you're always saying like. <laughs> I said, you know what? You're probably right. I don't know why Californians wear like Valley Girl like, you know? I don't know why we say like all the time, but it's crazy. I'm like clueless, you know? Um, I think on Clueless, they were in California, right? And they were just like, like, uh, where does that come from? You know, because I don't, I don't watch television. But anyway, you all, they knew that I was from California. Okay. So anyway, moving right along to the next is another one by the House of Mimo Paris. Um, and this is African Rose, you all. This is probably the most expensive fragrance I have in my entire collection. Um, this one cost me a bag, okay? But I love it. It's amazing. Anyway, <laughs> fragrances that make you sing, okay? That is what I need to do a review on. Fragrances that make you sing. So um, anyway, uh, this is Mimo Paris African Rose, okay? Cardamom, oud, rose, geranium, sandalwood, vanilla, suede, ooh, all of that. This is a bottle of goodness. It is very rich. This smells like a Middle Eastern sultan, okay? Um, yeah, this smells like a straight up sultan, you guys. So get your nose on this fragrance. No, I do not know where you can purchase it. I actually purchased mine at either Neiman Marcus or Saks Fifth Avenue, one of the two. Um, so you can purchase it from that. I don't know where you can purchase samples, but y'all, when I tell you I'm gonna spray this fragrance, it is a whole bag of money. It is a bag of money. It is an Arabian sultan, okay? It's a Middle Eastern sultan, okay? An Arabian prince or Middle Eastern sultan. But more smells like a Middle Eastern sultan because it gives you that beautiful like rose, ooh, geranium in here, y'all, with the leather as well. It's like African leather. I know a lot of y'all love African leather and I love African leather as well. But this is African leather with a little more creaminess with that rose and that geranium, y'all. Ooh, it's so, so good, y'all. Get your nose on it. Mimo Paris, African Rose. I cherish this. I really cherish this fragrance. It means so much to me because um, y'all know the story if you don't know. Anyway, I went to Africa, didn't buy it, ended up donating the money because I felt guilty. Um, anyway, I bought it when I got back over to America. So the money went uh, to good use when I was initially supposed to purchase it over in Africa. Um, and glad that I didn't because it's an amazing backstory, okay? Anyway, African Rose, get your nose on it. All right, the next one in line is, um, 
Oh, did I tell you? Musk, leather, bergamot, cumin, geranium, rose, all of that good stuff. Uh, the next one is Venom's Kiss. A lot of my fragrances to me that are most opulent, that are most um, affluent, you know, very rich, wealthy smelling, have saffron inside. Um, and saffron is actually one of the most expensive notes in fragrances to process uh, by the ounce, you all, that I researched many years ago. I think I did a review on saffron fragrances and I have to do another one because I have obtained so many more saffron fragrances in my collection. So anyway, this is Venetum's Kiss and this is by Ex Nihilo. Um, this is a beautiful saffron, sandalwood, praline fragrance. Um, it's gorgeous. Um, this, a lot of people say it resembles uh, X, not X Nihilo, it resembles Milo Harris's Scherzo, but to me, Scherzo is a little more green. It has a little more tangerine, slightly fruitier, and it's greener in the dry down. This one, you get that beautiful note of sandalwood in here, creamy sandalwood. So in Venom's Kiss, you have, sa you have saffron, um, you have nutmeg, neroli, amber, you have some sandalwood, Artemi artemisia, styrex, and vanilla, you all. This is such a stunning fragrance. I've only worn it about three times, but I absolutely love Venom's Kiss by Ex Nihilo. Get your nose on it. It smells so rich and dense in that sandalwood in here with that vanilla, you all. It's absolutely stunning, you guys. Um, get your nose on it. I was going to say, I know there's like a, a gourmandish note in here, but I think it's the nut meg that gives it that little warm spicy saffron vanilla scent you guys but the sandalwood is stunning in this fragrance get your nose on this this smells like um you know the there's a series on television called um i think it's like the ladies of dubai or something like that rich in dubai um this smells like a uh, venom's kiss smells like the ladies on uh, rich in dubai they're always you know and these are ladies of influence um and these ladies are i think 40 and above you all so that is what this smell this smells like very mature not mature smelling but it's for the grown and the sexy you all this is not a playful fragrance this is not for children this is not for somebody in your 20s it's not for the youth. Um, this is for a woman that knows what she wants and that is about her life, her business, all of that, y'all. Get your nose on it, Venom's Kiss. All right, the next one is, of course, Possibilities by La Perla. <laughs> So Possibilities by La Perla is one that I absolutely love. Some people don't love it. Some people hate it. I love it. Um, some people like it. So anyway, La Perla is a lifer for me. This is me in a bottle, all of that. This is rich me in a bottle, you know, rich in everything, money, finances, spirit, love, you know, peace, all of that. This is just richness overall, you know, rich in emotions, you know, all of that. Stable emotions though, you know. <laughs> So anyway, in La Perla, you get a beautiful note of black currants. You get your freesia in here. You get some orange blossom. You get some rose in here. You get some ambergris in here, y'all. This is such a stunning fragrance. It's a very beautiful, ambery, fruity, fresh floral. But the freshness of this fragrance, the freesia and the ambergris and the pink pepper with the orange blossom and the rose is everything. And the black currant, like all of those notes, you can literally smell separately in this fragrance. But it's such an amazing blend. And it is only for the grown, the rich, and the sexy, y'all. Um, so get your nose on it you can be rich uh mentally and physically as well y'all but if you want to speak that into existence you know you want to walk around speaking that into existence then get your nose on this fragrance this is, this is la perla possibilities y'all it's stunning i love it let me move this before they fall um, so anyway, the next one is Creation E by the House of Roja Dove. Um, this is a beautiful fragrance. Now, I have smelled the perfume of Creation E, and I do like it. It's a little more dense, but I actually like the freshness um, of these here, the ones that come in these beautiful purple bottles. So, um, and this is a part of the, it says, uh, what does it say on the back? Made in England. Oh, well, that's pretty much it. But this is a part of the... What is it? The Poor Femme line um, that they came out with. So it's very beautiful. There's a hodgepodge of notes in this fragrance. 
lots of florals. They use a lot of heliotrope and orris. There's peach in here. There's rose in here. There's tuberose. There's gardenia in here. There's vanilla. vanilla. There's everything. This is a fragrance for a definitely um, a beautiful, rich bride, maybe on her wedding day or just maybe if you're going to go sailing, you know, on that beautiful, lavish, you know, million dollar yacht that you've rented for the day or that you even own you all. So Creation E is such a beautiful, rich, opulent, wealthy smelling scent. Um, and it's very feminine as well, but it just, it just speaks of a beautiful, you know, a, a very beautiful, confident woman, you know, that really knows herself and knows what she wants, you guys. Um, anyway, Creation E, get your nose on this fragrance. I absolutely love it. I debated putting 51 in here, but 51's a little more fruity. This one's a little more floral, but it still has that fruitiness as well with that orris and the powderiness and the sweetness. Um, it smells just a little more mature, you know. Um, when I speak of mature, I don't mean as in, uh, vintage. I mean, as in, you know, you know what, what your life has led up to and you know how life, um, is going to be for you at this point. You know, the goals that you have obtained, the things that you have gone through to get you to this point of richness, um, in all of area, in all of the areas of your life, you guys. So anyway, Creation E, um, you must know who you are before you put on Creation E by Raja Parfum, you guys. Get your nose on this fragrance. All right, so the next one is, um, there's Rose de Mai in there as well and a beautiful note of peach, you guys. So um, the other fragrance is one that we know all so well and I layered this fragrance. I wore this as my scent of the day, uh, one day this week or last week because this is Sunday. Uh, this is Lancome's Oud Bouquet. Y'all, this is just the richest, beautiful, oud rose fragrance with a note of praline and vanilla inside and it's stunning like stunning you know this will probably always be uh my favorite rose oud fragrance my favorite feminine rose oud fragrance there is nothing like Lancome's Oud Bouquet. I've come across a couple of fragrances that were super similar. Um, I actually reviewed a fragrance recently from the house of Morph. Um, and we're going to be doing a fragrance haul because I just obtained a coconut fragrance, y'all, that smells like... Um, coconut creamer that I absolutely love. I love my favorite coconut, my favorite creamers um, is cinnamon and then coconut. Uh, but I was making coffee in the morning and the Disumano is the fragrance that I have by Morph. And I was pouring, I warmed up my coconut, my creamer, because I believe creamer should be warm so it doesn't cool the coffee down because I like my coffee hot, yeah. So I warmed up my creamer and y'all, I smelled the perfume, Morph, Di Sumano's Morph. I was like, why does Morph smell exactly like my coconut creamer? My, like a warm, fuzzy, you know, creamy coconut. Ooh, y'all, it was delicious. I had to go spray it on and it smelled just like my creamer. Anyway, but Morph Di Sumano has a fragrance, a rose oud fragrance, you all. It has a little more vanilla inside. Um, I gotta do the review. I've already actually sampled the fragrances a couple times and I wrote down a ton of notes, so I have to bring you all a review. But I was like, ooh, this smells like my Lancome Oud Bouquet with a little bit more vanilla inside. Um, but then it dried down and you didn't get the, the rich vanilla that you got in the opening for about 30 minutes. So this has a beautiful note of praline inside you guys. So anyway, Lancome Oud Bouquet is one of the richest, richest smelling scents I have in my collection. It's rich, it's dense, it's heavy, um, it's sexy. You just, you, you just feel like a queen. Um, you feel like a princess, queen, whatever. You, you feel like you need to sit on a throne, you guys, with Lancome. Oud Bouquet. And um, yeah, it's such a beautiful fragrance. Adorned with gold jewels, all of that. Emeralds, rubies, gold, all of that, you guys. Um, that is who she is, Lancome's Oud Bouquet. 
All right, the next one we're gonna talk about is Because I'm Free. Uh, because I'm Free is a beautiful tuberose, banana flower, um, powdery. It smells a bit of orange blossom, uh, but in here you have your vanilla, caramel, it's ambery. You have some almond blossom in this fragrance. Um, you have some candied fruits, but you definitely in the opening get a powdered tuberose almost a bubblegummy tuberose in a way, but that quickly fades into a beautiful, dry, almondy, slightly sweetened, candied powder. It smells like there's orris in here, but it doesn't list it. Um, the sillage on this is amazing. I felt like royalty walking through the unit, spreading that sillage the couple times that I did wear this fragrance. Um, it comes out of nowhere, and it's such a stunning, pretty, very pretty, opulent fragrance, and it makes you just feel very pretty. You know, it makes you feel like you need to be catered to, um, like you need to be sitting you know, with a with a, a crown on your head, you guys. Um, this is such a beautiful fragrance because I'm free. Um, it smells very rich, you know, in scent and just very elegant, you know. Um, anyway, because I'm free by the House of Greedy, get your nose on it. Don't blind buy it. Um, the tuberose in here is not the um, it's not the, like the tuberose that you all are used to smelling in a lot of floral fragrances. Um, it's slightly leaning in between the two, a traditional tuberose and a bubblegummy tuberose, but it's completely different in the dry down. Love it. Would repurchase it in a heartbeat, uh, because I'm free by the house of greedy. All right, I went out of order, so let me make sure I don't forget anything. So the next one we have is Serge Luton's, and I love this fragrance, and I love it. I debate it because I love a good rich honey note, you guys. Um, but I debate it putting this one or another fragrance, but I've been talking about the Harmonist Moon Glory for like a long time. But that fragrance smells very rich, very dense, very opulent. Uh, it's just a, a just a very beautiful smelling fragrance, uh, luxurious smelling fragrance. fragrance. Uh, but this one with a honey note in here as well, honey, rose, geranium. Um, there's some greenness to this fragrance as well, but the honey is very prominent in the opening. The rose is a bit tart or jammy, uh, but as this dries down, you all, I actually went, I smelled this fragrance and I knew it was beautiful upon first sniff, but you gotta like a, a good note of honey. It's not an animalic honey as well, but it is a very rich, organic smelling honey. Um, so I smelled it, and after it dried down hours and hours, um, I purchased this in Canada. I had to go back and purchase this fragrance, you know, the next day. After smelling the sillage, um, smelling the dry down on this fragrance, I was like, ooh, I love a good honey note on top of the rose and geranium, you know, and the slight earthy green of the scent. So I knew that I had to have it. This is Serge Luton's um, and this is La Filet de Berlin. Get your nose on it. Um, There is last, oh no, we have two more you guys. Okay. Let me not forget. Let me not forget. So um, there's Haley by the house of Tiziana Terenzi. Um, Haley is such a beautiful just compliment getting fragrance. Um, every time, I don't wear this fragrance often, but I did wear it to work several times last year and I felt like it was a bit too rich for work. Um, I felt like I was doing too much wearing this fragrance at work. But y'all, wear your fragrances anywhere, everywhere, you know, whenever, to bed. I could wear Haley if I wanted to. Uh, but anyway, in Haley, you have your passion fruit, you have some peach, rose, lemon, it's musky, uh, but Haley is beautiful you definitely get that tiziana terenzi's dna that musky fruitiness you know but you get a really juicy scent of passion fruit you know the yellowness the fleshy passion fruit you get that muskiness but it's not musky like arbapura it's a very fresh musky fragrance 
this smells of, I have money, you know? I have money in the bank. I have like 20 401ks, you know, all of that, you guys. Um, I have IRAs, you know, um, I have stocks and bonds, you know, all of that. That is what Haley speaks of, you guys. Um, and you definitely need to have all of that, okay? So start planning your retirement when your kids are young, okay? When they're children, start planning it, okay? Savings accounts, all of that good stuff y'all so anyway tiziana terenzi uh this is Haley. it's gorgeous it gets me so many compliments you guys like literally people can smell me down uh, like i would say a half a mile away probably that's a bit of an exaggeration but a half a block away not a half a mile away people can smell me based on the hallways in the hospital a half a block away and the scent trail is beast it is amazing this is like one of the strongest fruity floral fragrances i have regarding like a scent trail you guys um get your nose on it Haley by tiziana terenzi and it comes in the luxurious red velvet boxes you all opulence beautiful gorgeous elegant sophistication all of that you guys get your nose on it last but not least um this is a fragrance this is like my daddy owns landmines my daddy owns oil you know um <laughs> My daddy is rich in oil, you know, and this is, um, I always miss, uh, I always twist the name. This is Rock the Mer, okay? Rock the Mer smells like the three wise men, okay? It smells like the three wise men are bringing you, you know, gold, spices, diamonds, all of that on top of this stunning bottle, the stunning Dutch designed bottle, you guys. Um, so anyway, Rock the Mer is Mer. It smells, literally smells like you are sitting on a throne and the three wise men, like I said, is are bringing you spices. Um, they're bringing you coins, gold coins. You know, let me clean the bottle off because it has to be beautiful. They're bringing you spices. They're bringing you gold coins. They're bringing you diamonds. You know, they're bringing you jewels. You know, that is what this fragrance smells like. It smells like my daddy owns oil. He owns land. He owns those huge oil rigs, the ships out in the sea. You are out in the ocean. That is what this fragrance smells like, you guys. Um, anyway, I've had so much fun doing this video. So in Rock the Mer, um, you have your pink pepper. You have some Cypress, suede, you have some vanilla, you have olibanum, y'all. It is rich, but you definitely get that spicy Middle Eastern, you know, uh, mercant that is absolutely, mm, it's stunning. But the olibanum and the myrrh in here, you guys, and the cypress to give it that little bit of earthy dryness, it is top notch, okay? Um, yes, my daddy owns oil fields and land, you know, in, in the Middle East, okay? Anyway, y'all, such a stunning fragrance. Um, this is by Drizan Noten. I love it. Actually, when I was over in, um, Selfridges, because that's where I purchased it, he said that the people from the Middle East, they, this is always sold out. And I knew that I wanted this fragrance. I wanted to sample it. I was actually going to buy blind buy it. I wanted to sample it because I do love a, nerd, a note of myrrh. I love when myrrh is mixed with like a yellow flower or maybe like a fruitiness or like a rich decadent gourmand, maybe like a caramel and a myrrh or a rich vanilla. And Amur, this is giving you vanilla, but it's also giving you the olibanum and a little bit of greenness, the, the earthiness from this fragrance just kicks it over the edge and makes it really beautiful. Uh, definitely unisex, but it smells very rich, you guys. Um, this smells like I need to have a turban on my head, okay? Like all of that. So um, anyway, or a hijab, okay? Um, yeah, we have money, okay? All of that. Anyway, this is beautiful. Such an amazing fragrance. But he said the people from the Middle East, they order this fragrance in droves. And it is always sold out because they are the ones that are ordering, that is ordering um, this fragrance like by the box. So anyway, this such is such a stunning fragrance. If you like the note of myrrh, if you like a beautiful, it's pink pepper, so it's super spicy, vanilla spicy, and myrrh is already spicy, you all. So you know how spicy 
spicy this fragrance is, uh, but it's a wearable spicy as well, y'all. Get your nose on this fragrance, Rock the Mirror by Dries Van Noten. Y'all, this video is 45 minutes long, okay? Um, anyway, go on to the world, spread amazing sillage, do good, be good. Um, let me ride off on my uh, carpet in the sky, and I will see you all another time. Love you all. Bye-bye.